my lovelies I'm just on my way to hospital feeling very nervous but last night I was watching lots of videos on YouTube of uh, people having endoscopy done so I feel a bit better because all of them looked asleep um, and also I watched lots of videos of people coming out of the anesthesia and it was so funny I didn't realize that well I don't know if everybody does that but these people were talking so much rubbish it looked really drunk I wish someone could video me <laughs> yes yeah, so Paul is driving me there and then he will pick me up I think I'm, I am going to be in there all together three hours so um, depending how I feel afterwards I might pop back in and let you know how it went we are just driving through uh, Windsor Great Park let me just show you how beautiful and green it is in my colon so I had those removed I, I feel a bit dopey still <laughs> so Paul is taking me home now but yes uh, my stomach was fine so it was just those polyps but I am going to see the consultant in a week's time to talk about it all so but I'm fine and it wasn't too bad um, the endoscopy I am sure I can slightly remember gagging but just it's just like a dream I don't remember the actual discomfort and then for the colonoscopy you a bit more awake they they lift you already up from the sedation so I could feel that a bit and it's slightly uncomfortable but it was fine right my lovelies I see you tomorrow when we're traveling Hello my lovelies, so we've just arrived in Cotswolds but we've arrived a bit early and the cleaners were late so our place is not ready. So we've just been to a local pub, had a drink and now we're just taking Louis for a walk. Paul is just picking up Louis' pool somewhere there. There he is. <laughs> So we are going to go for a walk and we probably come back to this pub for something to eat later on. But yes, we have to wait for our place to to be finished cleaned. Look at all this, Louis. Wow, that's a big open space, isn't it? What's it is. down there? That's a cricket pavilion. Oh yeah, they must play football here. Louis, look at all this. Let's take your jacket off. No. Is it good? Yeah! <laughs> Gonna do outfit of the day. So this is um, traveling outfit of the day. Gap sweatshirt, sweaty Betty, vest, sweaty betty, leggings and trainers. What's your outfit of the day? I am in a beige pull and bear <laughs> with a white boss t-shirt uh, complemented by a green poo bag <laughs> and uh, what do you call it? A man bag, pack. man bag. Man bag, fanny pack. So this is our barn. You walk in here. It's like a kitchen living room situation. It's quite small. 
but just enough for two people and then you have two bedrooms there is one here with ensuite bathroom there and there is another bedroom this side with ensuite bathroom <laughs> oh boys oh my goodness so look these are the owners dogs oh my god look at that great thing it's enormous so this is our little garden but uh, the owner actually lives next door these are his dogs let's go and see him my goodness i haven't seen a great dane in a very long time He's huge. Louis, did you see doggies? They're big, big doggies. Big doggies. Look at you. Wow, you are huge. <laughs> this is really pretty. I love that sculpture. Look at it. Oh, sol solar panels. Didn't you like these dogs, Louis? Were they too big for you? It's a beautiful location. It's in the middle of nowhere, but close to things. Um, it's got lovely views and everything but it's a bit I would say it lacks woman's touch but we think that man who owns this is on his own so that might be why uh, like there is no wardrobes so I show you what you hang your clothes on so in both bedrooms all you have is this that is your hanging space <laughs> a bit pathetic and you know the bedroom is really basic um like this bedroom doesn't have anywhere really to put your stuff in it has a couple of these here but they are full of something the bathroom is quite nice it has that roll top bath cute triangular sink and the other bathroom has um, a shower let me take you to the other bathroom the kitchen is quite cute so this is the other bathroom this one's got a shower it's just very small this one so yes I mean it's a nice place to stay for like a weekend I couldn't I don't think I would be happy to stay here like for a week or longer um, I need more space and um, and what comfort <laughs> my camera is all crooked for some reason yeah but it's a nice nice location so that's all it matters it's the, made to everything we want yeah to. the the hanging space doesn't matter so much because like i said we are here just for three nights so it's um, adequate but if you were coming to stay here for longer i think it's not big enough it's a cute it's a converted cow shed oh is it the owner is just behind he's he's got a lovely place <laughs> am i asking him if he wants to swap anyway we're just gonna have a cup of tea we've booked that pub for dinner tonight so we'll go for dinner and then tomorrow tomorrow we'll probably go to siren sister i really wanted to go to siren sister beautiful place so i will show it to you tomorrow
So we are in Sirencester today, only just got here, parked up and just trying to look around and see what's around. Always already wants to go into this shop because they have knives and kitchen gadgets. Kitchen gadgets. Look at all those knives. <laughs> Look at all these knives. Not the Paul Cooks. Look at this little quaint street. Wow, you can get lost in here, all these back streets. Oh no, Paul, this is um, like a little bar, cafe. <laughs> We've just found this huge park in the middle of Sirencester, behind that big church. I think there is a lake somewhere there, so we are going to take Louis. Go on, Louis. There is Louis having fun on you. Come on. <laughs> now this way. lake. <laughs> There's a gorgeous lake here. Louis got a new toy. Louis. It's so lovely here, could sit here all day. We're on our way back now, we've done some shopping and we've just stopped off at this gorgeous pub. It has a lovely river, well stream, running down the bottom. I might take Louis there later. And we're just going to have some lunch and then go back to our place. There's Louis on his towel. <laughs> Can I go and see the river, are we? Look at this lovely stream. Can I go through here, Louis? I'm gonna go through here. Here. Louis, come and have a look here. Look, when I go in the water. Louis, down here. Go on. It's not deep. 
Good morning. We are on a beautiful walk. It's some sort of Thames River walk, but it will take us about 10 minutes to get there. So we are going to be walking by the Thames River. And we are in, what is this village called? Lechlaid. We've been so lucky with the weather. So lovely. It's not too hot, it's just right for walking. There is Louis. He's so tired. Yesterday he was on a go all day. He's not used to it. He normally sleeps all day. But he had fun. Look at this majestic swan. Now don't, you will come and... <laughs> Look. Can you do that, Paul? <laughs> we want to see. Oh, he's going to come and bite you. <laughs> what is he doing, Louis? lovely pub the other side so we are going to go over the bridge and go and sit down there for a drink morning my lovelies so we got back yesterday by 10 o'clock and I was a superwoman as soon as we got in I unpacked everything I actually did all the laundry 
with everything that we brought and have ironed it because the weather was so lovely what well, is still lovely today that everything dried really quickly so I was able to iron it as well I also have redone my nails and toenails and I had a nice soak I'm really pale because I soaked off all my fake tan which I will have to redo at some point so I was a superwoman I did it all yesterday <laughs> so today I'm just chilling I am a bit upset because looks like two of my cucumbers have died they just look all shriveled up and the other one is quite nice and big but something is eating it and I've watched some videos about growing cucumbers um, yesterday and it's such a palaver so this man said you have to feed it with Epsom salt fertilizer then other fertilizer then when you are watering them you need to water under underneath the leaves to get rid of spider mites and then you will get squash bags on it which will lay eggs you have to get rid of the eggs I thought you know what I'd be better off buying the cucumber but I'm going to try maybe that one will grow so the two that have died are the ones that are supposed to be like small cucumbers the one that is still doing okay it's a you know big slicing cucumber yeah these are a bit wet aren't they well it's like damp sorry <laughs> Paul is here yes so I don't know my lettuce is growing very slowly I thought I would be eating it by now but no but my potatoes are doing amazing um let me also show you what paul bought when um yesterday when we were no yesterday the day before where we were driving around in Cotswolds on the side of the road and um, there were these men that uh, sculpture things out of wood with like chainsaws isn't it um and they did all sorts of different things and paul loves stuff like that so we bought three mushrooms toadstools toadstools I don't think they toadstools right here they are are you gonna stain them a bit darker color no because here they've, they've all been sanded and uh, uh, oiled and this has been oil but I might, yeah, I might but I suppose if you if you wanted to stain it for them to be a bit darker you could well not stain it oil oil it uh, oil it <laughs> uh, the man said you can do it with decking oil yeah. which we have so there is Louis have you recovered yet have you recovered it's been very tiring three days hasn't it Right, look at my potatoes. They are just growing like crazy. Uh, my tomatoes have grown a bit. But look at my cucumbers. Can you see these two there? They are dead. And this one has holes in one of the leaves, so something is eating it. Spider mites. Spider mites. Yeah, this man on, a YouTube, on YouTube also said that you can spray underneath the leaves with peppermint uh, so he just puts like a drop of peppermint oil into water and just sprays the leaves I don't know my beans are doing okay there is another potato my lettuce doesn't look much bigger but radishes are growing really fast and someone said that um, one of you in my comments well more than one of you that I shouldn't have planted the mint with rosemary because mint is like a weed and it will just take over but I will just murder it then I will pull half of it out oh yeah look at this we used to have these we bought very similar ones in Costco years ago and these are the type that you put on your back like a backpack 
and he has pockets here and he can go flat as well uh, we like to take them on the beach and Paul just found the Tommy Bahama one where did you get them? Costco. oh were they in Costco as well yeah they are so comfortable uh, so I might sit here for half an hour to make some uh, vitamin D another thing I wanted to show you is this the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen 45 so the story is I have been looking for a sunscreen that doesn't stain your clothes you know normally if you wear something white and you've put the sunscreen on it will stain your clothes yellow and you can't wash it off right let me go and change my battery because it's running out right battery changed so yes I, I was looking for for something that doesn't stain your clothes and while looking and researching I found out that apparently the ingredient in your sunscreen that causes the yellowing on, of your clothes is the oxybenzone and this is oxybenzone free so I've only been using it for a few days and I haven't really worn anything tight and white so I can't vouch for it yet but I will let you know well, it didn't stay if this like t -shirts. oh yeah but I put it all on the back of my neck and you did yeah well Paul says that he put this on the back of his neck and he said he didn't stain his white t-shirt so but I will update you on that right now uh, so I am seeing the gastroenterologist on the 3rd of June uh, to talk about my results you know my colonoscopy and endoscopy I was thinking why couldn't he talk to me then but then I thought yes I was so spaced out afterwards I probably wouldn't remember so that's why I have to see him um, but do you know what obviously we know there is nothing funny going on in my in my stomach or in my colon I had these two polyps removed so the only thing I can think oh Paul can you turn my eggs off please thanks um, and just leave them on on there just push it off and leave them on there in that hot water and what was I saying oh okay so I think that what it is is the coil because when I think back so I've had it now for three years and the first year was okay but I would say for the last two years on and off I've been suffering with this bloating so yesterday I just googled you know does the coil cause bloating and I think uh, it took me to mum's net and there were so many women talking about it that they've been feeling bloated that they look like they are four months pregnant very so boobies and all that like being constantly premenstrual that's how I feel most of the time like the worst PMT and I've got sore boobs as well so what I'm going to do is make an appointment with the um, hormone clinic and I might have that coil out because honestly all this HRT is supposed to make you feel better and this is making me miserable well the estrogen is making me feel great but obviously that coil is not the best okay I'm going to finish this vlog here I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching have a wonderful week and stay fabulous bye